So how to make a crocheted adjustable strap or how to use a slide buckle. So this is a slide buckle. I got this at Hobby Lobby. It was $2.79 for four of them. They are one inch and these ones are silver. This is the bag that I'm making. It's going to be a backpack. I also got these ones at Walmart. These ones are a little bit different. They don't have, like the center post is fixed. It's just a shape. Whereas these ones actually have the piece in the center that slide as well. This is gonna help lock in your strap better when you're using it so it doesn't open. But these are also, they're called slide adjusters. There's those two different kinds. The first thing you wanna do obviously is to make the strap piece. So this particular bag I am making in preparation of opening my Etsy shop back up again. And I only say that because that means I don't know who's going to end up with this as far as the string, the length of the straps. I think I ended up making this one, I think 45 inches. I mean, it's not something that usually has to be exact, but I made it pretty long because I want it to be able to open all the way for somebody if they need to open it more to have it fit. And it, the smallest size will be about this. This will be about how far down it can adjust. So the smallest will be half the length of whatever you make it. And I think that's reasonable. And I did do, I have this attached with a needle because I did do something that I called stay stitching. It's a way of going through it after a piece is done so that it can't stretch, which is important for back straps. I did a whole video on that. I'll link it in the description box if you want to check that out. I find it very helpful for this specifically is why I, why I came up with that. Okay, so this is what it looks like up close. It's just a rectangular piece with a little strip folded over, very loose as you can see. Now this one is a one inch and that means that the space inside of the buckle is one inch. So your strap can be one inch itself. And that wasn't very much for this when it was crocheted, I think it was uh, the chain one, two rows, three rows total. I have this one with the yarn, the needle. So we're going to take this piece and go up and down. I'm just going to sew it right around that piece onto here. And another piece that you're going to want for this is the part where the um, one end of your strap attaches and runs through. It's going to look like this shape. This is actually a one and a half and it is the wrong color, but this is what I have. So I wanted to show you, or I mean, it would literally look like this same thing without this piece. But since I bought them, I'm just going to use these for that side. So you can see I have that all sewn on here. Just sewn right on to that piece. So the next one we're gonna do is to take the loop for the other side and I'm going to put where the top strap will attach. So let's see. I could have crocheted this in when I did this, but I didn't plan ahead. So I'm just gonna sew this piece in there real quick. So that's attached. So we've got this, we're going to bring it up, Ooh, don't. We're gonna bring it up like this, through there. There is the strap. 
So now I'm just gonna sew this on, right lined up. So right down here at the bottom, that same space. And there it is. I've got this all sewn on to the bottom. Yeah, they're not a hard thing to put on. They're pretty easy. And you just adjust it like you would a normal one. We'll see how short we can make this. You pull it down in here. I mean, you guys know how these work. There we go. So this is the shortest that it goes. So like I said, I got these ones up here from Walmart, but any craft store should carry these. You'll just want to look in the sewing notions. It's with the sewing stuff. Quite a bit longer. 